So hi everybody, welcome back to Through the Ball and this week we're going to look at a shot where we're high on the black and we're trying to pop the black and go into the pack of reds. And this week we've got a request from Mez7 who was talking about when he's high on the black like this and we're trying to play the black and get the white to split into the pack of reds he finds it much more difficult than when the white is low on the black now I would think that's very common for a lot of players. I think when you're low on the black here, it's a bit easier to just stun the white into this pack of reds or screw into this pack of reds. When we're high on the black like this, we've got to try and judge the right pace that we want so that we not only get the pot, we get the spin on the cue ball. So I'm just going to quickly play one of these. Let's go top spin on the white. So I'm playing top spin to pot the black. Let's get the black in. And can you see the way my white missed the pack of reds altogether. It didn't have enough time for the, the top spin to grip on the cloth. So I'm just gonna grab the black, just because of it's just nice to have the black ball when you're practicing these shots. Now, what's actually happened there, the reason that happened is because we're having to play the shot nice and powerfully, we're trying to go into that pack of reds. So when the white first hits this black, it, it's almost bouncing up in the air really. And it's going a little bit wide off the black, so it comes off the black at 90 degrees to begin with. And so that's the case for any shot that we play. The white initially, so this is the line to the pocket, the white initially wants to come off at 90 degrees. So what's happening with this, this shot is the white's coming off at 90 degrees, and then what we've done is we've put a lot of topspin on the white, and what we're trying to get the white to do is then grip and come back this way and go into the pack of reds. Now, because I hit that shot too hard, what actually happened was it didn't have enough time to grip and it went past the, the line of the reds and it went up towards where the green is somewhere. So when I'm playing this shot, I could play probably topspin and go a little bit softer and I will get the split into those reds. So let's try that. So we're going to go topspin again on the white and then we're going to go a little bit softer. So can you see the way? By going softer, I did get the cannon on the pack of reds, but the problem was I didn't get enough of a cannon really, I only just flicked the pack and it's gone off a little bit wide. So if I just grab the black, right, so I've just set these reds back up again into this pack and I've got my white back on a little mark here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this shot now with right hand side and that's going to do a couple of things. First of all, it's going to allow me to hit the shot harder again so that when it comes off the cushion I can go into those reds with a bit more pace. And secondly, the right hand side will help us to make sure that we don't arc around the reds and go back into the reds. And the reason for that is, is that, again, we're going to hit it nice and firm. When it contacts the black, it's going to come off here. And then this time, the right hand side will help the white come back this way, as opposed to it wanting to go off this way like this. So the right hand side now is helpful because it's going to mean that, as I say, it's going to help us arc back into those reds. Now, because I'm playing a lot of right-hand side and I'm hitting this shot very hard, I need to change where I'm aiming on this black. Now, it's no good for me to just aim the black as I normally would, because what's going to happen again, if I look at this, we're going to hit the right-hand side of the white, and then what that's going to mean is it's going to push the white off like this, and it will end up pushing to the left because we've hit the, the right-hand side of the white. And then, as you can see, if the, if the white did that, we would then catch the black too thin and we wouldn't pot it. So it's actually quite strange on this shot. You actually have to get used to aiming the black a bit thicker, knowing that the white will push out. So let's say I'm gonna aim here like this. So I'm gonna aim about like that. Maybe not quite that extreme, but I'm gonna aim like something like that. And then I know because I've got right hand side on, from this position, my white will push out to the side and it will send it a bit wide and we'll make the correct potting angle to go into the pack of reds and pot the black and get the cannon. So let's try that. So we're going right hand side. I've got to aim up a bit thicker. So you can probably see it doesn't even look like I'll pot the ball. See, I've got right hand side on the white. Then I can play this nice and firm. And I've gone into the reds there. Nice contact on those reds. And I've actually there, I've been a bit unlucky there. I've got such a nice split into the reds. So you are relying on a little bit of luck, obviously, when you go into a pack of reds that are positioned like that. But hopefully there, you can see the importance of changing your aiming when you're using that side. It's very important because you've got that extreme right-hand side. And the other thing that's important is that you, you can hit it a bit harder. The right-hand side will 
make the white come back into the reds and then you get that lovely contact on those reds now i've just quickly set this pack of reds up again because i didn't get a very good split there so i'd love to get a good split and see if we can leave ourselves nicely in the balls so we're aiming up to the black again keep nice and still play the shot nice split on the reds and this time i've landed nicely on a red that's here I could reach that red even if I need to use the rest, but I've got the reds nice and out into open play. But well, hopefully there you can really see that importance of using the side, changing your aiming. Now, if you did enjoy this episode of Through the Wall, remember to give the video a like. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon. That means that you won't miss any of the future uploads. For anyone that's interested in any personal one-to-one -one coaching sessions, I'm working with, on this table with players all the time to help them to improve their game. So you can contact me on my website, that it's in the description box below. Send me a WhatsApp message, I would love to help. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one, everybody. Cheers.